stop if you're angry with nigerians deal with them yourself don't use this platform as make it look like a ghanaian nigerian issues i'm not saying i'm a saint i have condemned some nigerians for their acts against ghanaians you are being used by some political party or even if this is political because ghana belongs to everybody and i know a lot of ghanaians that wouldn't be happy to see Nigerians gone. I don't know if I need to remind anybody that I can only leave Ghana when I want. I'm not victimizing you, okay? Whatever issue we had, I'm not saying I have forgotten, but I have forgiven. Yeah, so please allow Nigerians in Ghana to live and allow Ghanaians to decide for themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to another video on my channel. That is if you are not new, but if you're new, welcome. My name is Lillian. How are you doing? At your own corner of the head. For me, physically, I'm doing well, but it's not been easy for any adult right now all over the world. But if you are lucky to be happy, regardless of all that is happening in the world right now. Congratulations to you for such an amazing gift that the universe have gifted you. For some of us, I have not been okay. And this happened to be, I think I'm just adulting and I'm adulting the right way. Every responsible adult right now feels the heat, regardless of your nationality and where you are based currently. Things are happening. For those of us that are Christians, we are beginning to wonder, is it that time that our faith, that the Bible said, so many things will happen before the end? Are we there right now? If you are a Christian right now, you may have at some point be thinking if this is about to be the end that the bible talked about because protests from here and there some are protesting against immigrants in their land some are protesting against bad government and so many things and just there someone sent a video of a nigerian youtuber based in ghana to me for me i have stated that I wouldn't be going back there because the last time i went there in my own opinion i just wanted to get the public opinion about things that are happening in ghana that i as a foreigner may not be aware of so because i like to learn and sometimes you learn from a place you don't expect so i went there that first and only time i returned back there I myself was, you know, I came back here and I was not myself and I have private those videos. Yeah, so when someone, an elderly person sent this video to me telling me to please advise my brother in Ghana because things are gradually getting out of hand and when it's time, people are not going to say, oh, this person did it. They are going to say Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana are the problem. And truly, he gave me reasons that I should do this video because I have publicly expressed my love for Ghana and Ghanaians. And I do not have any regrets about that. And it has not changed. I still love and I will continue to be like that because my bond with Ghana is by the grace of God, going to be forever and ever till my last day on head. There are many times I have gone on other YouTubers' pages, get videos from their pages, come back here and drag them for what I considered bullying, something that I strongly believe they didn't do right. And I did all of this because I was fighting for peace. I did that so that a lot of my viewers will understand that it's not every Nigerian that has that mindset of common and ordinary Ghana that these people may have been, you know, expressing here on social media. I have done that countlessly. I have brought videos of, you know, I can't count how many Nigerians that have dragged because of that. And I do not have any regrets about it because, yeah, that i did the right thing at the right time so because of all that i have been misunderstood and i have seen people go back to come back to change my story use it against me some of them because they could speak tree they know how to manipulate the whole thing and make me frame me to look like the bad guy but it's not a problem so but then i have respected and shared common interest with one nigerian youtuber in ghana that is because of his genuine and sincere love for the good people of ghana i can never any day sit down and say this guy does not love ghana is pretending or whatever because that would be nothing but a lie 
have respected all of his views about Ghana and I strongly agree with him yeah they have not been a lie that he told about the good people of Ghana that was why when I came to Ghana in 2022 I invited him over I did not have a place of my own I invited him over we hanged out at a restaurant which we took a bottle of mineral coke and he paid for he was really nice to me you know i granted him an interview because i wanted to get to know him and why he's doing the types of videos that he's doing a lot of you are familiar with him on youtube here so today i had to pull him down to sit down for this interview he's going to be telling me everything by force so please you're going to tell me tell you, my subscriber your you're going to tell us your real name so let's start with that. Can we meet you in a real name? My real name is Joseph Atta in Ghana, more than 50 years. More than 50 years? Really? Mm. Mm, okay. So, um, why do you choose the kind of content that you do? Like, a lot of people don't want to accept that Nigeria is going through something. But you are one of those people that agree. You always carry the news raw. Well, how do you feel? Like, why? Why? So, uh, are you married or you're single? You don't want to say. <laughs> I want to know if you are marrying a Ghanaian woman. Married, you know, you know anything about marriage? It's going to be private. Oh, okay. My own private life. And this was all out of admiration for his boldness, for being so brave, for being so loving towards Ghana, for seeing a whole lot of good that some of our countrymen and women have refused to see about Ghana, even though these things are obvious. So after that, you know, we continue to hang out together as friends. But then uh, things took a different turn because I, at some point, started to feel irritated by some of the things this person was doing and i felt like okay he is not just about loving ghana it's also about maybe he has gotten to a point where he dislike everything nigerian so i needed to be away because i can change so many things about myself i can decide to act right i can decide to stay away from crime i can decide to respect other people but i can never change the fact that i'm nigerian and this man is bent on disliking everything nigerian and i can't help it so the best thing to do was to walk away from that friendship because it wasn't something i want so let's love from a distance you know let's continue to love from a distance which is our love for ghana and we have been doing that even though we have had our ups and down because so many things came up here and you guys are stood up for myself and i do not have any regrets and i want to appreciate those that stood by me even when there were so many campaign a whole lot of lies were made to frame me you know she hates ghana and all that see i'm not doing this video to say that i'm a saint okay i'm not a saint i have always spoken up against nigerians but not every nigerian i have spoken up against nigerians that i have seen in the act of disrespecting other african countries especially Ghanaians, and because i i don't like bullies so i'm not in any ways trying to say i'm a saint i'm better than him but i'm just trying to do this one last video because it is important to do it now that i still can because after now i do not know what followed next so um this nigerian youtuber in ghana can you please my brother forgive he keeps saying that Nigeria, a Nigerian man or he said a Nigerian made him lose his daughter in Ghana so because of that he disliked Nigerians but don't you think that you are deviating from the main goal which is us selling Ghana to the world to our people especially those that did not know how it is here in Ghana telling people the stories the beautiful stories about Ghana showing people the things that a lot of people don't want us to show the world a lot of people do not know about Ghana don't you think you have gone from there to hating because this is a video of this guy saying that you must never trust a Nigerian even if that Nigerian is a baby you must never trust that Nigerian I'm going to play a tiny clip from that video and I'll come back to continue. Ghanaians, I'll repeat myself again. You know, say this one, eh, I'll start announcing it again for you people to open your ear where, where 
to hear open your ear and hear <laughs> if you trust nigerians one bit you are on your own wrist we can know yes say nigeria do me this nigeria do that nigeria do this nigeria steal my money nigeria do this but i'm telling you now that i already do my terrible investigations around people around nigerians i already do this thing i mean nigerians where well. you see this 2024 this this 2024 where we did now i say you cannot trust the king that it is in nigeria nigeria you can't trust nigeria he said the one way the age of four years self is not trusted let me tell you i need to make a full video and bring in big analysis to you people to understand what i'm talking about age of four years age of four years to four years four years is not trusted yeah, yeah, yeah. so of you are talking about six years or seven years to ten years to forty years it's not trusted and i mean they talk around he said now me now me now they tell you i know talk say you trust me as a nigerian no? i know interesting for you to talk but i'm telling you for your own safety so far the person in nigeria this 2024 the person they around you and you know see this person now nigeria they tell you so now nigeria is hard now as i'm talking to you so nigeria is hard people are suffering food no job not picking everybody is suffering and and more they are suffering more they are ready to do whatever they want to do let me tell you sure let me not talk too much because we are preparing for this to tell you how nigeria they go you don't worry okay so if i do not speak that means i'm an hypocrite if i do not condemn this i mean i should go back and apologize to all the nigerians that i have spoken against for doing the same thing and even less than what you are doing but i will this video will be here for reference sake the reason i'm doing it is because when it happened people will come and say oh is you people that were hating on nigerians because i have spoken up against nigerians with such behavior where they commonize other people where they act all irrational i am not in support but i would never any day sit down and bring a campaign of hate against people including children one thing that i have always stated and i will always maintain is do not give my people the ghanaian citizenship i do see videos circulating the internet saying oh very soon we are going to stage protest against all the nigerians in ghana to go back if you ask me i will say there is no need allow nigerians to live in your country Keep them with kindness, but not with your Ghana card, not with your citizenship card. They use this citizenship to apply for passport and travel and badmouth you. Do not give them the Ghanaian passport illegally. Any Nigerian that is qualified for it should go and get it based on merit. But it shouldn't be something that you just randomly give to them because that is a slap on my face. Because they take these things, still come back and insult you, commonize you. I have always spoken that we shouldn't give uh, citizenship to Nigerians that are not legally due for it. But I have never any day said they should send Nigerians out of Ghana. What this man is doing right now, people are going to ignore him. When they want to write a newspaper, they can easily include my name and all that. Being a woman also contributes to that. A lot of people in my country will ignore this guy and come for me. I have never, I'm not saying Nigerians are amazing people, okay, but raising a campaign and giving audience the voice to pour out how much hatred they have for nigerians don't you think it's bad for the peace we are trying to build we have been on this mission to change the mindset of nigerians i mean some nigerians please about Ghanaians, about ghana so now that is now like nigerian must go issue and it's beginning to make Ghanaians to look a certain way don't you think it's time to stop it yeah because it's beginning to look like this is not this is this is not what i'm familiar with this is not what i know you for so all of a sudden what is happening if you have issues with your fellow country people can you just resolve it you can promote ghana condemn the nigerian that you see bring that nigerian out drag that nigerian condemn and even call for the arrest of that nigerian Nigerians will not come and rescue that person. The law will take it cost. But we cannot sit here and say, oh, all Nigerians, don't trust them, don't do business with them. But you are bringing people from Kogi State, from your home state. You are bringing people from your home state to Ghana 
almost on a monthly basis and giving them opportunities here and a lot of your friends that are Ghanaians patronize these people give them opportunities help them build their lives even contribute money and send to them in Nigeria to help your people the people from your place to get education and all that because the country is in a Nigeria right now is struggling all right so why do you think it's okay when you do all these things uh, privately and then you come online to condemn Nigerians is that the right thing I'm saying this because I have kids I don't know how long I'm going to be on head for all right I have a child that happens to be partly from Ghana partly from Nigeria don't you think this is not right it's not the right seed to sow you are a father for crying out loud all of your kids that you have with all the women they are not none of them is full Nigerian and none of them is full Ghanaian don't you think that it will affect them did your daughter that you have your kids all your kids that you have with the ladies from ghana don't you think that this campaign will affect them some way later maybe maybe by then by then you and i may not be here again please whatever anger you have against nigerians put it away and do not victimize people because you have issues with them okay put your powers aside i know you have a lot of power all right no problem we understand that but you can put it aside and not abuse it personally i am not affected but i can't be like that there are so many nigerians living in ghana that are doing legitimate businesses i have never been and i will never be in support of nigerians that are doing illegal things in ghana i will always say that the law should take its course rather than me calling for people to for a protest for people to send nigerians out of ghana you are not the one that is initiating the protest but when it finally happened it's going to be oh nigerian in ghana nigerians in ghana are the reason for this don't you think you are destroying the peace some more the peace that we all are trying to build by letting ghanaians know that it's not every nigerian that looks down on them I'm not saying you are the one voicing out, but you giving your platform to people who have so much bitterness in their hearts. A lot of these people that are calling for Nigerian must go on your channel are people who have personal issues with Nigerians, maybe relationships, maybe work related, or basically just issues, a face off that they have. They will come on your channel. Some of them will use your platform and pour out their hatred and anger on all Nigerians. I can actually do that. I have gotten tons of messages the other time I put my number, but I refuse to post them because I don't want to do this. And I'm not saying you shouldn't do these videos. But don't you think you should censor them? For me, they can abuse, they can say whatever they like. Or even if this is political. Because Ghana belongs to everybody. And I know a lot of Ghanaians that wouldn't be happy to see Nigerians gone. I don't know if I need to remind anybody that I can only leave Ghana when I want. I'm not going to be thrown out of Ghana for at least for the fact that I have my legal papers to be here. I have my legal documents to be in Ghana for as long as I want. And I also have a child that is tied to Ghana. If they send her out of Ghana, where is she going to go? To where? Her father is Ghanaian. That makes her a Ghanaian. All the rights that she's never going to have in Nigeria, she'll have them here. But you are a man. And if we want to follow all due process, your kids are Nigerians. So why are you doing this? Calm down. If Nigerians, a Nigerian commit any crime, bring that Nigerian, bring their video, bring their picture, bring their name. Don't, don't be throwing shit. Call evil by its name and you will see that evil will flee. This campaign of, oh, you are giving people your platform to be hanging out their opinion. Do you, don't you think if a Nigerian come up with that, do this same voice over thing, don't you think that war, people will go to war? I'm not saying I'm a saint. I have condemned some Nigerians for their acts against Ghanaians and I have done so individually. So don't you think you should do, do that? If I have offended you, call me out, drag me, do whatever you want to do with me. Rather than bring this hate it's, it's too much all of us have respected the political space in ghana i have stopped so many things you know i have you know i just decide to like be on my lane for the sake of peace but you are being used by some political parties what is happening please i'm not stopping anybody from hating on nigerians nigerians are not easy they are not people you can easily love nigerians are difficult to love as a matter of fact but that does not in any ways means that all nigerians are bad including you you are a nigerian 
these same people are using you for their own whatever personal hatred if they want to go on protest against nigerians it's not your platform that should be used i'm saying this because they will call me they will say okay nigerian youtubers in ghana i wanted god to give me something that i will use to silence nigerians you know to make them stop their disrespectful speech that common and honorary ghana and then when this school ideas came i wanted to put it out there so that Nigerians will see it. Since that time till now, a lot of things have changed. That common and ordinary, you can't easily, you can't find it online easily. You will go on TikTok, bring a video of banter, come and analyze it on your channel and make people to hate some more. Why don't you say Ghana out positively? Mm -hmm. If a Nigerian, of course, offends Ghanaians, bring that Nigerian out, strip that Nigerian naked, give it to them woto woto like they deserve and tell that one to go. Rather than say all oh, Nigerians, they should never trust, they should never give up a chance, they should never. For me, I will not say go to Nigeria. I can't tell anybody to go. But if, even if you are in Nigeria, I'll tell you, okay, to be careful. Because it's not just about Ghanaians. It's not about foreigners. It's about everyone struggling because of the security challenge in Nigeria. But I will not sit down here any day and say send them out, deport them. What is going on? Telling people not to trust and all that. If you know a Nigerian that is committing crime, feel free to report that Ghanaian to the police, including me. Let's do this thing like we have, you know, like we used to do it, where we basically focus on the beauty and then we drag Nigerians that are wrong at that time. The rest will come and say, hey, you are always dragging your people. Yes, I'm dragging that one person that I feel is threat to peace. Yeah, of course, I'm not, I'm not trying to vindicate myself because I, I have spoken up against Nigerians with that attitude. But I will not sit down here and say, all oh, Nigerians must go. Don't trust them. What about you? You are Nigerian. You can get the document to be here because your baby mamas are Ghanaians. But what about your kids? Are they going to be in... Yeah, they can be in Ghana forever. Why not? Ghana is an amazing country. But how are you going to feel? Like, do you love it? Because we don't know tomorrow. Please stop, okay? stop if you're angry with nigerians deal with them yourself don't use this platform as make it look like a ghanaian nigerian issues there are so much more we can do to to change the mindset of people if it's the ghana food you want to promote promote it if it's the education you can do so as it seems now white people can easily come to ghana and be happy here but a nigerian can't let nigerians pay for their attitude by themselves let Ni me i'm not affected okay I had my daughter's birthday how many days ago all my neighbors here they came my all my Ghanaian neighbors they came including people i did not invite when they heard that is me they came i don't have issues offline with anybody but this thing you're doing online what if they take it from online to outside it's going to affect so many nigerians and then tomorrow they'll say is you nigerian youtubers in ghana that are responsible for it let nigerians pay for their sins by themselves don't be the one because it's going to look like okay you are the reason so they were actually good you came and lie on them please stop it mr you know yourself okay it's okay to come for me i'm ready some time ago i wasn't ready because i thought that all Ghanaians are amazing i didn't know we have some bad eggs but the good thing is there are Ghanaians that are really sensible otherwise this channel would have gone i'm not victimizing you okay whatever issue we had i'm not saying i have forgotten but I have forgiven yeah so please allow nigerians in ghana to live and allow Ghanaians to decide for themselves what i'm saying in essence is censor those voice over before you post them okay censor them and calculate if it's too much don't post it mm? don't post it post the one that people are dialoguing people are having conversation like they are giving opinion like they are talking just talk you don't want nigerians in ghana it's okay say it all right there's no need for you to censor these things and then put them out here. because why i'm saying this is because i'm not si trying to silent Ghanaians. so i'm only saying you Doing it is going to affect everybody, including me. I will be accused. I am going to be accused. It's just going to take a few Nigerians that will be honest to say, oh, she did not any day call out for this. Don't let it be like out of anger. We have now sued our people. My love for Ghana is undisputed. All right. We are all black people. We are Africans. When Nigerians are wrong, say it. 
rather than throw shit and make it look like eh, hey, you are are you afraid of people don't be afraid call evil by its name god will protect you in times of trouble rather than us making this you know just making this you say you are not on youtube for the money so what is your problem you post two videos a day one for hate one for selling ghana through the promotion of the ghanaian dishes which i love so much yeah you keep that one you do the one for hate take time my bro calm down okay this video i'm not disrespecting you but if you want i did here anyways and the subscribe uh, the unsubscribe button is working so don't forget to use it all right anyways i'm done and i hope that i see you guys another time bye